Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to transfer files from your Android phone to your Android tablet. So the first step is on both the Android phone and tablet, you want to make sure you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. You do this by opening up settings, connections, Wi-Fi, and then check the Wi-Fi network which you're on on the phone is the same as the tablet. So let's open up settings, connections, Wi-Fi, and you can see on the phone and the tablet I'm on the same Wi-Fi network. The next step is just make sure if you're connected to any proxy server or any VPN, you disconnect from the proxy server or the VPN. And once you've done that, you're going to open up the browser of choice. And you just want to head over to this page right here, snapdrop.net. Head over to this page on both your phone and your tablet. Before proceeding with the next step, reload the page on both devices. And then you see, uh, should see your device. Tap into it. Files. Once we are here, you just want to select whatever files you want to transfer. So if we go to downloads, let's say this PNG, and let's scroll down. Let's have a look here. Uh, let's say this manager.apk. Doesn't matter what file you transfer, uh, but just keep in mind in order to start selecting, you need to long press. And then from there, you just tap on whatever you want. So we'll just select that, and we will select this as well. And then from here, you just click on select like so, and then the files will transfer over. So just give it a little bit. You can see file received, ask to save each file before downloading. So if you plan on uh, downloading multiple files, uncheck this and tap on save, and it should just download both files. So you see two downloads complete. Let's tap into details, and you can see manager.apk and that photo right there. So if we tap into it, you can see that is the photo that I transferred earlier. And just like that, we're good to go. Now, if you ever plan on doing this in the future, every time you want to do a transfer, make sure on both devices you reload the Snapdrop website, otherwise things may glitch and not work. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.